geologists warn Israel there is a need to be constantly prepared. There could be a major earthquake that would devastate Israel, killing hundreds. Now we know that Israel is uh, has a huge fault running through it from uh, north to south, and this is what it looks like. It's a very uh, big area of uh, the uh, Red Sea, the fault line going from the Red Sea all the way up to the Dead Sea. The Jordan River is actually a fault line, and also the fact that the Sea of Galilee is actually a crater. It's a crater lake. Now this is what the fault line looks like. I don't. I did. I make a video on the fact that the, the Sea of Galilee is a is a crater lake, and there are various from antiquity various spa areas. Even the Romans built up the spa areas around the Sea of Galilee, the Lake Tiberias area. So this is a very geological place, and we even have the, the prophecy of the uh, valley between the Kedron Valley between Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives splitting in the huge earthquake that will be taking place. That's a rift valley that's going to be opened up there. So this is, um, as we know, Israel has very, very ancient buildings as well. And they would, of course, be devastated in a major earthquake. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Here we have the Sinai Peninsula, the Red Sea, of course, and then going into the Dead Sea, that indentation going into uh, Israel. So the location along the Syrian African Rift in Israel is no stranger to major shakes. Just in December, it suffered a 3.8 magnitude quake that occurred not far from a populated tourist destination, Eilat, which is towards the Red Sea. A 6.5 magnitude earthquake is expected to hit Israel in the coming decades, years, or even weeks potentially causing hundreds of casualties and some serious devastation. This is what researchers from Tel Aviv University warned us on Tuesday, citing the results of a drilling study that probed the bed of the Dead Sea. Now, they said that in the coming years, it's likely that a devastating earthquake will hit, causing hundreds of deaths. This is what the university statement reads. Researchers suggest that its magnitude would be felt many miles away. Now, there's no way of predicting exactly when the tremor will hit. This is what Professor Shmuel Marco, head of Tel Aviv University's Porter School of the Environment and Earth Sciences, said. But the scholar says that the uh, geological record does not lie because earthquakes of that scale usually occur every 130 to 150 years. Now, we remember even the time of Jesus Christ and even the time of the apostles, there were huge earthquakes. Let's remember St. Paul when he was in the uh, uh, prison, there was an earthquake. One of the guards felt that he was so, uh, he would have been so punished by the fact that he expected all the prisoners to uh, escape because the doors flung open and they didn't escape. And then St. Paul said, don't worry, we're all still here. And the same thing happened with St. Paul. And even at the time of the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ, it was an earthquake. Anyway. Now, uh, according to what they say, the professors say, this is a statistical projection, but unfortunately, I can't say that an earthquake that will cause hundreds of casualties will hit in the coming years. This is what he said, and quoted by the Times of Israel, he says, I don't want to cause alarm, but we are living in a tectonically active period. Marco said it could be in 10 years or in several decades, but it could also be next week. And we need to constantly be prepared for that. The research was published in Science Advances, also predicted that another major incident, an even more dangerous one with a uh, 7.5 magnitude earthquake listing, could occur in the next several centuries, something that has not happened since the year 1033. 
Scientists previously believed that quakes of that magnitude happen no more often than every 10,000 years, but the study concluded that they may actually take place somewhere between 1,300 to 1,400 years, according to the researchers who studied the geological history of tremors in the last 220,000 years under the auspices of the International Continental Scientific Drilling Program, the frequency of quakes in the Dead Sea Valley has not entirely, was not entirely fixed. Therefore, they actually may only have decades between their occurrences. Now, in 1927, the Dead Sea Valley experienced a 6.2 magnitude earthquake that led to nearly 500 deaths and hundreds of injured in the nearby cities of Jerusalem, Jaffa, and Bethlehem. Bethlehem is only about, what, three or four miles north of uh, Jerusalem. Now, the most recent tremor, estimated to be 3.8 on the Richter scale, that's 3.8 magnitude, hit the area close to a populated tourist destination of Eilat, that's located on the Gulf of Aqaba, on the Red Sea, towards the Dead Sea. This is by Alexander Serbriakova on Sputnik News.